So today I wanted to talk about alignments in PCDMS, specifically something called a datum reference frame alignment. So you won't see this type of alignment by name in PCDMS, but there is a way to do it within alignment utilities using the auto align option. So the first thing I've done here in this program is just measured all of my datums. And you can see here on the drawing, this is from our training manual. All the datums are labeled there on the print. So I've just measured them and I have assigned the datum references to them. You can see all of my datums are listed here in the feature list. So what we can do is select them in order of datum precedence. So datum precedence is a very important concept in alignments. So you can see my trihedron is floating freely there. So that means there is no degrees of freedom constrained. So in alignments, we talk about the six degrees of freedom. We have three degrees of translational freedom and three degrees of rotational freedom. So even if you don't understand leveling and rotating, if you understand datum precedence, it allows you to select the datums in order. For example, A, uh, A is primary, B is secondary, and C is tertiary. So by selecting them in that order, we can simply press auto align, and it does everything for us. So what happens is the primary datum will constrain what it can. So in the datum A example, that is our leveling plane and also the origin for our Z axis. B is secondary, so it can constrain rotation because that has not been done yet. It also constrains the translation in Y. When we come to the tertiary datum, datum uh, C, there's only one constraint left, and that is the translation in X. Okay, so that's just one example. So let's look at another one. So I just have it up on the screen here. So this is from our training manual. This is the EBA alignment. Uh, cylinder plane plane. Primary is E, the cylinder. Secondary is the front plane, datum B. And tertiary is A. So let's, let's go ahead and align that. So again, I'll open alignment utilities and I'll select them in order of precedence. So E is primary, B is secondary. So where is that? There it is there. And A in this case is tertiary. So again, datum precedence, primary, secondary, tertiary. Select auto align and you can see it's aligned it according to datum precedence. It will constrain what degrees of freedom it can in that order. So that's very important. So there's no datum reference frame alignment button, but by using the auto align and understanding datum precedence and measuring your datums properly, we can align using the datum reference frame. Okay, so that's just a quick uh, tutorial. We do cover this in great detail in level one training, uh, but I just wanted to point that out because I found lately that when I point this out to students during training or tech support, um, it's sort of a revelation to them. They never thought about doing auto align in terms of datum precedence. Okay, so that's about it. Just a quick tip. I uh, hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.